next to hear that one of my favorite groups was just randomly dropping an album. Random as hell. Yeah, yeah. super random. I knew we knew it was coming, but I didn't. I didn't expect it like that though. It caught, they caught to me get it on guard. a Monday night. Yeah. Kind of on crazy. a Tuesday. Let's, yeah, actually, let's keep midnight. it funky. It was a Tuesday. I got shout it on a Monday night. And shout Tuesday. out to Jay Diff for actually having this conversation <laughs> last week. Uh, he was talking about uh, back, bringing music back to coming out on Tuesdays. You, literally, we just had this conversation. So, little brother dropped. They might watch the show, man. I mean, we have our album Tuesday series on Bringing mm-hmm. Down the Band. Hey. Yeah. So, so, they dropped May the Lord Watch. Um, Mayhem. Man, this album was dope, man. I ain't going to even hold you. Um I, don't, I know we can talk about it for a while, but I'm, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to go around the table. Keep it brief if you can. We still got to get to the list. But production jumped out at me 100% from the top. I do not, and I'll, I'll go on record, I do not think Ninth Wonder is missed. That's my opinion. I do not think he's missed. Once I he's missed. It's, that's, uh, I don't like the wording there. Yeah. I, I, hey, real I, quick, let me get my two cents because I you guys are sure. huge on this. like, And I totally respect little brother and like i love the minstrel show and uh, but i know this is like you guys shit like you guys nerd out but i listened to it once (laughs) i was working though and uh it was super groovy and very easy to listen to and very um sharp i thought you know what i mean and uh smart but still while being kind of funny at times like it was just something I'm, i'm gonna listen to again yeah probably tomorrow so yeah guys go ahead man (laughs) (laughs) i'm not that's not a diss i'm just saying you know i didn't the vibe was fine for me. That's what I meant. The vibe okay. was fine for me. I have no problems with the vibe whatsoever. Okay. It was just a weird phrase. Hey, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, J. So Diff, what you think? backhand compliment. I know. It was, it was kind of interesting. Was that a backhand compliment? It kind of was. A little I just like the vibe. I'm not saying he not nice. It's just I have so many people hit me up about the production, like shitting on the production. Like, oh, man, the production's well, not just, that good. That's, that's just... That's fanboy no, shit. Are right? Is that what that is? That's ninth yeah, that's, stands. That's people that want, yeah. I, you know what? I those stand corrected. Stands. That's yeah. what that is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Like I'll I take that. Definitely have seen people come out and say, oh, why? Oh, man, no ninth on a Little Brother album? Like, where have you been the this last the 15 first time. years? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, mean, I think it's stellar. Um, I've probably ran it at least three times today. Mm-hmm. Um, the UBN network is back. You. 100%. Shout I'm out very to excited peace about that. Miracles. Yes. Indeed. Uh, rest in peace. Yep. Shouts to Joe yeah. Scudder. He Joe got, Scudder. His white, got his whiteness back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just hilarious. But now, top to bottom, it's a, a solid offering from Little Brother, man. I mean, yep. what else could you possibly expect or want Yeah. other than what you just got? Because it's, like Spool said, it's solid. It's uh it's like a modern day minstrel show yeah, part it two. It sounds part like two. it's part two. Just yeah. grown up version. I'm here for version. it. Yeah. And it's going to sound really good in the fall. Yeah. Mm, yeah. 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 I can see that. Yeah. Jump in, uh, longevity, sir. Uh, they're, Fonte's, he's been on record of my favorite rapper. So, I mean. He better than Schooly D. Don't do that. Damn. You son. know, we ain't got there yet. Damn, sorry, go Daniel. Go How are we going to. I mean, you, maybe. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we me? haven't mentioned Fonte's name. Schooly D already was mentioned. Sorry about that. Bro. Um, but <laughs> yes, but uh, <laughs> uh, but that's not where I was going. No, I mean, uh, it's it's always new Tigolo. Whenever you get new Tigolo, it's great, man. I'm I'm, I'm always always here for it. He's he's one of the greatest ever, and uh, has he has been one of my favorite for 15 years. You know, the, the greatest thing about this project to me is it it made me a little bit excited for music and. As somebody who listens to a lot of music and shares a lot of music and does a lot of music for a long time, like it's real easy to get just to kind of get in a whatever type phase every once in a while. But I was ex- I was generally excited to listen to this when it came out. Mm-hmm. I love the fact that sh- that we didn't know. Yeah. Like people need to follow that structure, I think, like just announce it 12 hours before it comes out. Nowadays you got to. Yeah. In yeah. order for it to be to feel special, nothing feels special anymore because yeah, everybody because, drops everything. Well, people so have fast. a release date and it doesn't come out on that release date. Right. Well, even more than that, like it's like it's got this huge build up like people go through media so fast now yeah. like Yeah. It just it's it's like it's a surprise element. So it was, yeah. it was great. No, I I thought the album was great. It's probably in the 
it's one of my favorite albums of the year, if not mm-hmm. the favorite. Um, it's definitely top five so far. Uh, they, I did not know the producers when I first listened to it, but I definitely heard Crisis. I definitely heard Black Milk. I heard Knots on there. Mm, I yeah, heard definitely. Anderson Pock. It's, it's not <laughs> on the. It's not in the credits at all, but I definitely heard Anderson. But like Pac when I was listening to it, I literally I was like, "Oh, there's Knots." I was like, oh, there's nuts again. I was like, I think that's Black Milk. And then uh, Focus stole the show for but me. But Focus, what, f- yeah. to me, Focus also was a standout. He had yeah, some he of the, he, he had the heat. I Black mean, Magic is my favorite joint on there. Black Magic yeah, is real dope. Joint. I like the feel a lot. Um, I, I think Knott's flip of the Bobby Caldwell sample oh, was my crazy. Gosh. That was nasty. It's not one of my favorite beats, but what he did with it was really, really great. Um, it, and the, so the phrasing under, and so underrated. As What's the one with the Nina Simone flip? Nina Simone. I don't know. I gotta go back. No idea. Yeah, I'm asleep. Okay. I feel bad. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember hearing a Nina Simone. Song. Maybe yeah, I was about to say. Maybe I missed it. Uh, Nas was in his bag though. A couple times, three times, two or three times. Yeah, and yeah. and Fonte was stellar. Rapper, rapper was stellar as well. So I mean, yeah. Shout out to Big Pooh, man. Big Pooh was in his bag. I'm usually on the the team that mm-hmm. you know tries to play Pooh. I, I can admit that Pooh was in his bag on this album, 100. percent I think Pooh's been in his bag, but that's just that's, that's, that's yeah. been my opinion for Kato's a while now. Kato's looking at Kato's looking at me like I got Crohn's. <laughs> he said he got the, he got the uh, <laughs> Pooh formula like, down. Like you got what? I'll do that. He Go said ahead. he's got the he said he got <laughs> the formula Crohn's down. Disease? As far as what he's gonna say. <laughs> That's the only thing that came to my head. Man. <laughs> Go ahead, Jay Moore. Okay, um, that's, that's, that's fucked a, up. That's the best. No, I got. I've I've run the album in its entirety three times already. Yeah. Um, you know, twice while working out and just you know just listening, and the thing is, like I said, no skips. No, nah, that's got no one skip. skip not one even the sk- not even the skits. Or no, skips. the skits tie it together, and um, I you know like I said, I there are times. And I would never say this about the Minstrel Show or any of the, the, the subsequent albums that Little Brother did together. There's some times where I think rapper Big Pooh is outdoing um, Fonte. And Fonte look is... At Kato, is look at Kato. Yes. <laughs> did you listen to the album? All right. All right. Well, I, I, there you go. I, I'll say he held his own. I don't. I mean, he definitely I, I, snapped he, on. He definitely really snapped he on a couple. Snapped of them. out, and I was like, okay, let's not get carried away here. But I'm not gonna. I, uh, I didn't say for the whole album, but I'm just saying there's let's there's not get carried away. There's here. parts of the album where I'm like, well, if it was who had the better verse, I have to give it to rapper Big Pooh. Well, well, that's your opinion, and that's about, that's what the com- show's about. Please leave us comments about. That comment. I'm trying would. to think of the song that I'm thinking of. There was a very personal. He had a very personal verse on one of them that he's towards the end that he was really going in on, which yeah. was which mm-hmm. was really dope. I'm yeah. just. I'm, I mean, I'm I'm obviously a huge Fonte fan, so it's never going to be the case for me Fonte against pretty abs- much anybody. Fonte is so, I mean, fool. it's it's just that like I had Nick play clap uh, clap that what is it clap shit with Torre last week at coaches. Okay, shout out to Torre. Torre nice too. Yeah, shout out to Torre. It's just that I think we're all all all. Uh, five of us at this table we're kind of at a spot in this life where that for real grown man rap appeals to us just because yeah. of what we're going through and the things we've been through like i can only like when i listen to records about yeah we in the club and we trapping and this that and the third i was like all right man i'm 42 years old <laughs> and like, this this is what i'm coining the new easy listening the new you know, easy you know what i'm saying listening. because like this shit is is very is very uh therapeutic to the ears yeah right so to speak to hear it, and this is something you could ride around with your kids listening to. Facts. And even though it's cuss, cussing in there and shit, but <laughs> cussing and shit, cussing and shit, yeah. it's still something that, <laughs> that you would be all right <laughs> to them but, listening to. And everything doesn't have to be turned up all the damn time. Yeah, so and that, he and he mentioned that on one of his verses, which is kind of about what you're, going to the club, but, and it's just like and it was funny because last week at the build that that I do that I co-host every third Thursday. We were talking about going out. And I was like, man, if, if it's an event, it's going to have to be an event to get my 30 to 6 year old ass off the couch, out that. to come out yeah. to it if I don't have anything to do with it. I heard and that. then this came oh, out. I need and, to he's check. T- and he's, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so, I need hey, to check. word up. And it's then he has I'm a verse at. about it. I'm just like, it, it, it took me back, man. The, 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 I'm, just, I'm gonna get out, get out of my bo- my bag here in a second. Sorry, right. emotional Cook, about it. But Cook. you know, like I I grew up like I grew into like a grown person listening to Little Brother. You yeah. know, like that was that that's my generation. You know, like Little Brother is my generation. Like I didn't grow up in the 90s like that. Like I mean I did. Fonte but. might be my cousin. 
He might be. Fonte, come, <laughs> come, come mess be. with your folks like, now. Yeah. Come His mess last with name your is Cone Man. My last name is Cone Man. Fonte, come mess with your but folks. But my dad switched that. Yeah. Because yeah. we got your cousin. Yeah, we here, didn't brother. want no ties to that to that back shit. Hmm. So we got our own last name. Okay. Come mess yeah. with your folks, Fonte. And we, we did go as them for an exchange for we Halloween. Did. So we did. they actually <laughs> liked that picture. They right? did. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at Nicolay's page, I think our picture's still up there. Yeah. Y'all killed them on his Instagram. No, I mean it's to me. Because I, you know, like I said, I'm still in the middle of that club life. Because, like I said, if as long as you got a check, you really in that club life. Yeah, as long, as long as I, but if you got to have a check for me to be about that club life, because you um, see the new 21 year olds. Come yeah, in. I do. Jay it's Morris, something. Jay Morrissey and busting it open. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Every Thursday okay. night, um, <laughs> Instagram, <laughs> Instagram right. models and everything. I'm yeah. talking about busting that thing open. But the thing it. is, Why? I have to listen to all this wild shit, and this is like a breath of fresh air. Musically, yeah, because usually, when, even when I go running now, I don't listen to a whole lot of new music. Yeah. Like, I listen to podcasts when I'm working out, but um, I listen, like I said, I listen to this album three times, yeah, it hasn't even been 24 hours. Yeah. It's kind of like wine after work, and and you can attest to this. It was one young lady one night that came up <laughs> asking us to play a certain vibe of music, and we're like, No, we're not gonna do that. And Jay Moore was like, You know, you can go hear that stuff everywhere, everywhere else. But here, this is the vibe we want to give to you. You know what I'm saying? 